Burjan, thank you for joining us. Can you please give us a brief introduction to yourself and also how you got started with the Audi Cup Series and what your impressions are? Um, first of all, thank you for having me. It's my absolute pleasure. Uh, my name is Weiron Tan. I'm a professional racing driver. I've been doing it for the past 12 years now. Last year, I competed in the World Endurance Championship in the LMP2 class, and this is actually my first year working alongside Audi Sport. Um, very thankful to have this opportunity, and here, here in the Audi Cup, um, I'm actually one of the three, one of the three mentors, and uh, I'm also representing Audi Sport competing in the GT World Challenge Asia. Thank you. Can you please tell me? Your overall impression of Adidas wastewear, the comfort level, ease of wear, coolness, all the positive features, and also how it differs from the other brands you've worn. Yeah, I can actually tell you, like, I'm really surprised um, by the suit that Adidas, Adidas Motorsport makes because for the past, you know, how many years I've been racing, I've always been using Sparco or Alpine Star, one of the other competitors, but this suit, I can genuinely say it's very, it, it has impressed me, you know. The suit is really light, uh, very cooling, especially when we go to circuits like Malaysia, when the, when the weather's so humid and so hot, um, a driver can easily tell if the suit is too thick or there is, isn't enough, um, you know, like, it, it's not breathable. But this suit is, is very impressive and, you know, I have to say, like, Adidas has done a really good job with that. Can you comment on uh, other features? For example, um, you comment on comfort. Uh, you come, uh, comment on, on, on coolness and so forth. And anything else? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, even sat in the car for a long period of time or just wearing the suit around all day, um, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. It feels like, you know, <laughs> it, feels, it feels very natural. And that's what I like about this suit, I think. Um, it's just comfort-wise, A+, plus. and uh, style-wise, I think it's, it's, it's a bonus as well. Uh, do you have any other Adidas uh, racewear that you uh, use? Um, my teammate uses the boots and gloves, uh, which I haven't yet tried, but I would, I would like to try the, the gloves and shoes myself. I've, I've heard that they are really comfortable as well, so yeah. So uh, what is your future looking like? Where would you like to go in your next racing endeavors? Well, at the moment, this, um, you know, this partnership with Audi is a very positive one. And our first, obviously our goal this year uh, would be to win the, you know, win the GT World Challenge Asia title. And um, at the moment, this is, this, is, this is my pure target. Um, I haven't been thinking about what, what's going to be happening next, but uh, you know, this, I'd like to win a championship with Audi first. This is, this is my, my ultimate goal. And I'm very thankful to have Adidas uh, as one of our partners on this, uh, you know, to help us pursue, pursue this championship, pursue this goal of ours. And, uh, you know, it's, it's only natural that winning brands should work together. One other question is, what's your overall impression of the series? The competition, the cars, drivers? I think in, in this championship, the Audi Cup, um, it's a very good championship for amateurs and a very competitive one as well. We, over here we have lined up probably the most uh, competitive and the most highly rated amateur drivers in Asia and they're all racing in this championship, in this category. So, you know, I think it's a great platform for them to, to race on an equal level and uh, for them to also showcase um, their abilities and also to learn from, from the mentors that Audi, Audi Sport Asia is providing. Great. Any, uh, okay, we're on. We would like to thank you very much for your time. It's, was, it's a, definitely a great pleasure to talk with you. Thank you very much. Hey, Martin. Hey, hey I'd like to ask you a few questions. First question is, how did you get started in motor racing? Good question. So I started racing when I was seven, actually, a very long time ago, back in Estonia where I'm from. I started to go to drive go-karts with my dad and uh, I found it really fun, very thrilling and I couldn't get enough of it. So every time we would go back I would try to do the fastest time, you know, then 
there was like some tables. I was always trying to do the fastest time, and it was a big competition, and it meant the world for me. So um, soon enough, I joined I joined the go kart club. Uh, I had a, my first coach, my training coach, to actually teach me the basics of racing, and um, yeah. It was, it was very soon that I actually won the first national championship in go-karts, competitively racing, and uh, that was already 2006, so uh, then I think, I believe I was 10 years old, and that all, everything went very fast and rapid from there. I raced in Europe, competitively go-karting, won the world finals for Rotax Grand Finals, and um, after this, I did a little bit of formula racing, I had my first uh, racing series in Asia 2015 when I won the Formula Masters China Series. That was a very big step ahead for me and after that actually got uh, connected with Audi and now I've been racing for Audi ever since. That's okay, no problem. So can you tell me about your experience in the Audi LMS Cup and what you think about the cars? Right. Yeah, interestingly enough, actually I drove an Audi R8 LMS Cup for two years, 2016 and 2017. Actually, my first year was already 2015 with the previous generation, the, the two generations before uh, the car that actually is driven here. I had a very good fun in uh, Shanghai, right where we are, and uh, well, the competition was amazing. Some F XF1 drivers, uh, it was a Pro-Am uh, series back then. And I had good fun for two years, a uh, lot developing myself as a driver, uh, top, you know, racing, single make racing in Asia. And uh, Audi R8 is a great car. You know, it's very fast, very thrilling. It behaves like a complete pure race car, and uh, it's always fun to drive. Very difficult to go uh, super fast, but that's what makes it interesting. And now, uh, you know, for the past two years, it's been uh, it's been an amateur series for gentlemen drivers and uh, ladies. And um, that means that for myself as a pro driver, I'm here, but I'm here more from the tutoring side, from teaching side, from coaching side. And I just then get the chance to look from outside there, what all the racing action they provide. And that's very interesting for me, you know, to look at from a third perspective, uh, not always in the car, but, you know, also from the outside and, and then try to you know, transfer my knowledge from, from, from myself and my skills to, to other drivers. And uh, that's a very good opportunity for me and I very much enjoy it. And I, I believe that kind of develops myself as a driver and as a, as a person, really. And uh, it's, it's a chance of a lifetime, really. Next question is, what do you think your future in driving will lead you to? Hmm. What do I think? Racing is interesting. Racing is so exciting. Um, I believe that racing is exciting because you never know where you're gonna end up. You know, uh, you can you can have all the all the all the skills. You can have uh, all the you know opportunities. But if luck is not on your side, it's, it's still not gonna be. Enough. So, what which makes it very exciting, very exciting for racing is that you always just have to be at the right place at the right time and then you have to give 110 percent every time you drive it's like your last lap is every time you're in the car is like your last lap. and uh, that has helped me uh, you know develop as a, a lot as a driver and a lot as a person to to kind of respect the opportunity each moment and live in the moment truly and that's uh, opened up a complete different chapter in my life and this is something that I would, would never have discovered if I didn't do racing. And um, yeah, you ask where I can go in the in the next few years, I have no clue. <laughs> but that's why I can do racing and I want to do racing. And, uh, and uh, I think this uncertainty is the most exciting part about it. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a chance to do some international racing. Uh, you know, uh, from right now at the moment, I'm doing Blank Pan uh, World Challenge. Sorry, I'm doing Blank Pan GT World Challenge Asia. This is uh, top racing level in, in Asia and uh, for GT cars. And um, 
a natural kind of uh, progression from there to also add to it would be the endurance races that Intercontinental GT provides. And this is something that I would like to do in the near future. And obviously with Audi, we, we deliver a hell of a package. And I think uh, any race we enter, we, we have a good chance of winning. So this is a very, very um, important part of, of anything. You know, if we enter something, we need to be able to, to win. And if there's no chance to win, there's no point in racing. And uh, I think, yeah, that's what we're looking forward to uh, in the near future. Adidas has always been special for me, looking at uh, some historic racing from, uh, for example, Arton Senna, you know, seeing uh, some of the, the clothes from racing clothes that he wore, uh, seeing the three stripes, you know, it's been uh, kind of planted into my mind ever since. And, and truly, you know, <laughs> I, I have uh, more Adidas clothes myself just for free time and uh, I, I, I enjoy wearing it. And also as a racing suit to have my strip stripe, three stripes on it, you know, it's uh, special and uh, I think it's stylish and I think uh, it looks good. Uh, also, I feel better, so maybe I drive quicker um, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Brian, it's nice to talk with you again. Uh, I know racing is a very physically and mentally demanding sport, probably one of the most physically and demanding sports. Uh, I'd like to ask you, is there anything that you do before and after the race to prepare you and to help you recover? Yeah, you're right. I mean, racing definitely is very physical. Uh, it can be very hot inside the car as well. So most drivers have to prepare themselves, um, do a lot of training, make sure that they're physically fit before arriving to a race weekend. Usually before a race, I'd uh, you know, do a lot of stretches, warm-ups, um, skipping ropes. Um, you know, we, uh, sometimes if, the, if a trainer is around, I'll you know, use the tennis ball to, to sort of like warm up the reactions of, of the mind, the body. And then post-race, it's usually stretches just to make sure that you know, the muscles are, they can be quite tense after a race. So you just want to keep them nice and relaxed. Now, in view of the progress of modern scientific research, have you used any beverages or supplies to help you recover your normal body needs? For example, you know, recover muscle elasticity and um, spirit, your energy levels? So the most common thing um, that I use is uh, you know, to replenish all the, uh, whether it's the energy that I've lost or you know, the muscle fatigue. Um, is to replenish myself with electrolytes or isotonic drinks. Yeah, the, these are the best recovery, re recovery drinks. Now regarding OXD, these sport creams, have you used it and what are your feelings about it? Yeah, so I've used OXD, especially post-race. Um, that's usually when the body's at its most tense. And after a race, when you just want to cool down, and just you know, keep nice and relaxed after a hot, you know, hot long race. Um, I use the OXD post post uh, post workout cream, and that usually you know tends to help cool down the body and keeps the muscle nice and relaxed. What are the most things about OXD that stand out? I know you said it helps your muscle relax. Uh, anything else that stands out in your mind that are very beneficial? I just think the cream is very effective. So you know, usually when you use the traditional oil or massage rub, um, you just feel you know you can't really feel anything after that. But using OXD, you can really feel that you, you can you, you feel it take into effectiveness. You know, whether it's pre or post race, like pre race the the warm gel, you can really feel your muscles you know coming like warming up, and, and then as, as soon as you do your stretches or you do your your light warm up you already feel ready before the race. And then as soon as post-race, when you want to cool down, you use a cool gel. And then that one really helps you cool down the whole body, um, just keep your body temperature down, and keep your muscles nice, nice and you know, uh, soft and relaxed, not so tense like when you're in the car. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Oyeran. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.